Job for you, what you have to do. What's up? What job? I want you two to go into the town and head into that saloon and show our friends what we mean business. You have me at saloon. Manjo. Let's get this shit done, I guess. Okay, Hawk. Here's the plan, right? Nah. We'll just hitch our horses up next to the saloon, put our masks on, and we'll go in. You jump behind the counter, grab it all, and I'll keep everyone in the saloon down. The law comes, we handle it like always. Alright, sounds good to me. Right, put your bandana on. Are you ready? Yep. Ladies Put your and hands gentlemen, up. this is a robbery, right? Put your hands Get the up. money. Get the money. I'll take care of the law. You stay really fast in this time. I shit, got it. Shit, shit. Right now, what do we hold out here for a minute or two, or do we wait for an opening, or do we just book it? Let's stay in the back. We can see if we can uh, get a uh, horses. See if we can call the horses to the back. We can then escape. It's the best I can think of. Or we could jump off the front window. Jeez. Oh, shit. Uh, here, follow me. Shit, we'll just, we'll just go out this way. Right, and then we get on the horses and go quick, quick, quick. Shit, 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 Just follow me. We'll go right this way. Where's my horse? Shit. Just get on mine. I got my horse and hitch. Let's go. Come on, Hawk. Hurry up. Fuck's sake. Could have gone way smoother. Oh, hell yeah. Alright. Uh, we could have gone smoother, but good job in there. Yeah, it definitely could have gone smoother. It doesn't matter, but, uh, Joel, whenever we go into camp here, just hand the money to Clara, okay? We we haven't been too good recently, and I think we need to get in the better graces, yeah? Yeah, agreed. Uh, she should be in the tent, yeah? Yeah, it should be. Yeah, Clara, we're here. Yeah, <clears throat> uh, I'll take the money Good off you for now. Or is she? She went with Clyde, they apparently heard something about a train near here. Went to investigate. Well, uh... Unfortunately, I don't feel comfortable giving the money to, well... Somebody new. Look, I understand that, but just give me the money so I can put it in the box, save us all the bother. Right then, just... just give him the money. Alright. Fucking give it to him. Alright. Thank you. See this new guy, Joel, I swear he's gonna get too buddy buddy with them. Nah, I'll be fine. If he marries them, we can always make fun of him. <laughs> there it is. Well, since you're the infamous one, I'll let you take this. Come on, pick up the speed, come on. I think we're almost there. Pretty close. Stop the oh, goddamn shit. wagon! Oh shit! Oh shit! God damn. Oh, shit. If you find your lives, get off! Oh shit. Alright. To the side of the road. Over here. At the side. You too! Come on! I'm trying. Shit. What, what do we do? Just sit nice what? and pretty. We'll be out of your hair in a few seconds. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, idiot! Holy, holy shit! Here. 
Oh, oh, I'm telling the law about this. Yeah, yeah. See what we got here. Hurry up. You look good. You drive it. I'll keep a lookout. Take these supplies back to camp. <laughs> Not too bad. Quick and easy. So quick to defend this. How are they getting paid to defend this? Paid pretty well, I guess. Well, let's just focus on the road, I guess. So, what do you think now? About what? <laughs> Me? In general, or just what to do next? Oh, you? Hmm. I know you guys don't well, trust me. That much is clear, but... <laughs> at least I'm starting to get... I'm not exactly going to say used to you being around, but... It's not exactly weird now. I'm just glad you're able to, well, shoot that guy. Yeah, I could shoot well. I ain't afraid of gun smoke. Well, shooting a gun's entirely different than knowing how to kill. <laughs> I hate it. Yeah, you're right. It's always with that. like that feeling afterwards. Your hands are shaking. At least it is for me. I don't know how many people you've killed, but far too many. <laughs> Honestly, I just wish I was in the ground right now. It wouldn't have ruined so many families, possibly, but... If that's how it needs to go, then... That's how it needs to go. Yeah. I got you there. I've always had the plans. Like, after this? Because once you leave, I don't know what you're gonna do. Look. I don't want to say this around the other gang members, but... I know you guys are just using me for your own gain. Ain't that good at hiding it, to be honest. Well, yeah, that's what the woman's plan was. It's a bad one, but that's the one she had. It's why I was arguing with her a lot when we first met you. The thing is, though, knowing that I can have the opportunity to help you out in some odd way, I guess it felt good. Well, helping folks are... It'll bring a good feeling. Probably don't know it that well, but just helping out someone, good or bad, makes you feel like you matter. Yeah. All right. Feeling let's, I don't get too often. <clears throat> let's bring this in here. There is something I did want to talk to you about, but we should probably get these supplies unloaded first. Yeah, I'll grab the valuable items. If you want to start hauling stuff off, you can. Just yeah. Give me a second. Good. Fire luck, Joel, whoever's up. Have him help us. <clears throat> Here, Lars, do you need uh, help there? Yeah, be appreciated. I assume you can get some assist for me, too? Of course. More the merrier. Got a good I'm amount of supplies up. here. Should keep us going. Start, start moving it. Oh, in. hell um, yeah. This thing down. Ooh, I'm gonna have to climb Damn. in there. It's uh, your guys' job, go. Pretty good. Pretty good. I got some time to read again. I mean, what was ever in those meat packets? Holy shit, these are the nicest things ever. Stew tastes better than ever. Yeah, that new guy definitely knows how to cook. Arthur, Edward. Yep. Good news. Good news. Claire's happy. Yeah. That's good. Uh, what about us? Yeah, did you say anything about us? Not really, kinda kind of them. Are you serious? Yeah. We robbed an entire hotel. Mm -hmm. I don't think we literally was... went in and, and, and shot people and we robbed the saloon. We... Yeah, the but the, they got more, more money and... Yeah, good job. Man. That's oh. bullshit. Well, we, we got shot just... at. We, we got I'm... shot at. No, that's bull... Hey, peace. So, Alright. I... I'm going like, no, 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 hold on, I'm done with this shit, you know, right, we go out, me, me and Joel, we went out into that tight, 
We got shot at. We shot by. We killed people. Plenty of people. There's blood over that saloon bar. That's gonna take about a year to get rid of. And you're telling me, right, that this guy here, the new guy, is getting more prisoners. Bullshit. I'm out of here. No. Oh, Fuck that. Joel, stop. come with me. What's with the damn sure attitude? Okay, I'm sure anyone. she's grateful. Who cares about the woman's opinion? Oh, Jesus. Fuck hey, you, dude. I'm going for a drink. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I, I, this is what she just said. Uh, don't worry about it, kid. I'm getting tired of that piece of shit. I gotta calm down. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah shit, Joel. Down. Yeah, shit is fucking bullshit, dude. Calm down. Last thing we need is you to kill someone else. I wouldn't think too much about it. Oh, we finally get back on our feet. That's how we act. Imagine what it'll be like if we're actually thriving a little bit. You know, Edward, you're pretty helpful. I'm, I'm sorry for being mean at first sight, but I'm starting <laughs> to get a hang of it. I understand, kid. I wouldn't trust me either. Hell, I was insulting him a lot when he first got here. I probably would trust him even trust less. If I were looking at myself being a newbie in camp, I would have already put a bullet in me. <laughs> So, uh, Edward, when when are you taking me out to go shoot? <laughs> You're taking him out to shoot? Uh, yeah. Not right now. I, I think we should... Well, like Arthur said, we should probably be thriving first before we worry right. about doing any pastime activities. I might have to join you for that. See how uh. this legend that we got here <laughs> treats a gun like when there's no one shooting at him. Legend? Oh, I God, did you really believe the posters? <laughs> hey, a poster can say a lot. Yeah, or it says it a lot. Full of shit, it don't mean nothing. To it. I mean, I'm good, yeah, but... It just depends on the person that writes it. But, pencil to paper, you could write a whole lot of bullshit, or you could write the biggest truth someone will ever see. Well... Anyways, I'm just gonna get back to reading. Actually... Actually, Arthur, there was something you could join me on that we didn't really get to talk about before we delivered the supplies. And that is? Well, seeing as Tumbleweed's pretty much done, other than that sheriff's office that we'll get back to later, there's another place, another town that's a little better off east of here. So we go check it out. I finally got some shut eye, had a nice meal. Argued with an Irishman, sure. I'll join you. I don't mean to be giving orders, but, uh, kid, you mind watching the camp? No, yeah, sure can do. Yeah, I think so. Here. She keeps heading out without telling anyone. Yeah, she went out with Clyde. <laughs> Apparently, there's some train nearby that they're fixing the rob. Train. I wonder if we'll even get to get our eyes on it before we leave this area. Who knows? <sighs> so this town, Armadillo, guess I'll tell you a little bit about it before we get there, uh, it's way better off than Tumbleweed, but believe me, it's still a shithole. There's, uh, more for us to do. I think, if I remember correctly, I think they got a saloon as well, and a general store that they got some traction when it comes to money. Anything I should be cautious about when we get there? Uh, well, the law is a bit more diligent, but not too much more. All in all, we should make out pretty well when we get there. No one's gonna know who we are. Yeah. See that, uh, big wall in the distance? To our left. Uh, kinda, yeah. Dust is a little heavy. <coughs> yeah. Uh. I, I've never been past there. To be honest with you. Hmm. Always live in the desert? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know anything else. Uh, I don't know how. Like, <laughs> you gotta have got a really good memory remembering these roads. We got lost when we first came, uh, when we were looking for you. We found your poster. We got lost on the way there. 
Navigating through the desert's a pain in the ass. You're lucky y'all didn't get shot at by the local gangs. What's the half are there? Yeah, well, the ones you gotta worry about is Del Lobos. Mean Mexican son of bitches from down Mexicans. south. Probably should have guessed that. Yep. I've always wanted to go to Mexico. I always called it the Plains of Silence. Well, I'd assume it's so damn hot, you can't hear anything else but your own heart beating. Yeah. Honestly, with that wall up there, I ain't too sure if there is even land up there. Let's hope it's not the edge of the world or anything. <laughs> yeah. We should be there soon. Yeah, I see it in the distance. Pick up the pace a little bit. Ah, okay. More dust coming at us. God, how do you get through all this stuff coughing up along? <laughs> there kinda is no avoiding it. <clears throat> so, uh... Y'all come out of Tombstone, right? That was the town? Real shithole, yeah. <laughs> really? I heard it was pretty lucrative before y'all got there. <laughs> yeah, when we got there, that's when it became a shithole. kinda <laughs> funny. Yeah, that makes sense. It was kind of peaceful casinos. there, or at least I'd like to think so. But second we come up, we just raise a bunch of hell trying to live our lives as, I guess, no good common thieves at first. Met a whole <laughs> bunch of people. Met the worst and best people I've ever met there. It's just, oh, it was awful. I'm so glad we left it, but this ain't so much better if I'm being honest. Yeah. I heard two of the gang members talking. Joel and the kid talking about some guy named Ike. Ah, shit. We try not to, well, talk about him that much, apart from when we're remembering the good times we had. Yeah, he's someone we lost. I'm sorry to hear it. That's fine. What happened to him? Ike, we. We lost him to illness. Ah, uh, bad business. Yeah. I'm sure medicine will advance later down. Just well, time passes, but right now, just a common cold can take you if you're not ready for it. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is what the place. What are we looking for here? Anything real? We're just looking at it now. We ain't planning anything spectacular. Same shithole I remember it being. I read a lot of books, and, well, this place looks exactly like an old western town. Yeah. Got here. And the brawl's breaking out behind us. Just like I read it. Yep. And the sheriff's office is falling apart. Wow. Yeah, that's why the law's more diligent. Del Lobos, they always come through here. Shout this place to hell. Burn that building on the right there. Shit! Yeah. They're it's crazy even worse bastards. than I thought it'd be. <laughs> yeah, well. I'm sure that woman. What was her name? Clara. Clara, uh, yeah. I'm sure she'll be happy to know that we can make some easy money out of this place as well. Okay. Guess let's look around a little bit more. Uh, even have a church. <laughs> what is your relation to that woman? Here. Well, since there's gunshots happening, maybe we should just go inside of a building and stay in there. Yeah. I don't really feel like taking a life right now. Yeah, uh... What, uh... What is your relation with that woman, Clara? Uh... I would say it's just... Well, it really is just business, but... There's a little bit of friendship in there, even though it's kind of shit. <laughs> I disagree if there are a lot. We cannot see eye to eye on a lot of things. Should we go in or should we keep our conversation out here? Yeah, probably be best to keep it out here for now. Right. She's your leader though, right? 
Yep. I'm stuck in command, and that's what you want to say in our little gang. But like I said, we don't see eye to eye. <laughs> she thinks of one thing that seems completely unreasonable, and I think it's something I would like to say it's more, well, reasonable. But really, I guess Clyde is our, I guess our middle ground when it comes to making a plan. You How disagree, hell? he'll talk to me, he'll talk to her, he'll think of something. And, well, that's something we both agree on, so if it wasn't for him, our gang kind of would have fell apart, since we just, I wish I could just find more common ground with her. Just not sure how. I'm sure you may. You know, just keep going, I guess. Yeah, that's all I can do. Remember how back at the wagon, I told you how being a good person and helping others can bring a good feeling? One that I struggled to find. Yeah. I guess that is the common ground that I'm so desperately trying to have with Clara. <laughs> Uh, see, there's... She's not exactly the most keen on helping others. But there's this family, back at Tombstone. The father was, well, drafted into the Civil War. And he lost his leg. And, well, he stopped getting paid by the government. So his family was left to rot. They were on the side of the road. We were in the middle of, well, moving some cargo. So we gave them a lift into the nearby town, gave them some money... And they were able to, well, get a hotel room. Just pray to God that they're still actually alive. Because, <sighs> well, their father got really sick and he wasn't looking too good. But they thanked us, said no one's ever really helped them before. I think about them a lot, mostly because just, not because of the whole government, just abandoning them, even though he served. Just the whole cruel this world is. Just some people are off just living amazing lives off of the misery of others. And then there's others who just try their best to find something, anything. In a world where they'll turn an eye to the miserable and praise the damned. I, I, I just don't understand how how things just go like this. This country... Just, as this country is man unleashed really if you think about it and it is I just hope that one day I could put this whole life behind me because I live it but I don't want to live it but not enough to where I can't just leave I can't turn my back on this gang but in order to leave this life I have to so, I just stay here and do what I can. I feel like there is no choice in the matter. I was given this life and it's all I got until the day I die. Dealt a shit hand, you gotta play it. <laughs> Ain't that the <laughs> truth? Well, anyways, uh, let's probably be getting back now, should we? Yeah, we really should. That bar looks pretty interesting. Uh, camp's not too far. You could um, <clears throat> come back in a, a day or two and take an actual look at it. Yeah.